everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys something very new and different than what I've usually done on this channel. As a lot of you know, I do a lot of eye art type makeup looks on my Instagram, which you guys can follow and I will leave links to that down below. But today I am going to show you guys how to get this peacock inspired look. You can wear this for a festival or a concert, anything like that, or if you just want to look like a peacock. You can do that too. <laughs> this video was highly requested when I posted this eye look right here and I will leave that on the screen so you guys can see which one I'm talking about. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of recreate it and make it into a full look versus just an eye look like in the picture. So before we get into the tutorial, if this is your guys' first time doing any kind of eye art, I just want to recommend that you take your time and be really, really patient with yourself and just go easy on yourself and have a lot of fun doing it. It does take a lot of practice doing eye art, but it is a lot of fun and you can come up with so many pretty looks. This is the color scheme that I chose to do for this look. You can switch it up however you want and that's the beauty of makeup. You can just have fun and do what you please. So before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys would like to see how to get this festival makeup look, then just keep watching. I'm starting the look off by priming my eyes as always and then I'm going to be just setting that primer with a translucent powder. That way all of my colors blend nice and seamlessly with each other without looking too muddy. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and the first shade I am going into is Hunts and this is just like a burnt orangey kind of red color and I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending that into the transition area and just making sure everything is nice and blended out. I'm also taking a brush with no product on it just to make sure everything is nice and diffused. The next color I'm going into is Royalty and this is the shimmery purple color and I'm just taking a smaller fluffy brush and blending that into the crease and also into the orange shade but I'm just trying to make sure that it's nice and blended without it looking muddy. Sometimes if you blend a lot of colors together it can look that way so I'm just taking my time with the blending. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Twerk and I'm actually kind of creating a halo effect with this color. And I'm starting off by putting the eyeshadow on the outer third of my eye and then slightly blending into the crease and then bringing that back down on to the inner corner of my eye. And once again, I'm just letting this color build up and taking my time with it because I want it to pop and be nice and vibrant. You can also spray your brush if you want to to make the colors pop even more, which I will be doing in just a second. But yeah, just making sure everything is nice and blended. Next I'm taking the colors Diva and Pool Party and I'm starting off with Diva with my brush being sprayed and I am placing that on the center of my lid and then I am taking the shade Pool Party and placing that on top. I just feel like this gave it a nice pop of color and you get kind of this like really pretty like greenish emerald teal kind of vibe and I just I love it. I love how it looks. So I'm just patting that all over the center of my lid. And then next I'm taking the shade Beam and just using my finger to just add a little bit of that color to the center because I feel like this just really made the color stand out and it brought a lot of light to the center of the eye. Next I'm taking this Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner in the shade Cobalt and I am just placing that in my waterline. You can use any color you want but I just thought the blue would look really pretty and it would make it really stand out. For the lower lash line, I am basically repeating everything I did on the top portion of my eye, but just in reverse, if that makes sense. So I'm starting off with the greenish shades, then going into the blue, the purple, and then once again into the color hunts. And then I'm taking that shade beam again and placing that in the inner corners of my eyes. So now comes the eye art part. <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna be taking the skinniest eyeliner I have, which is this e.l.f. black liquid liner, and I'm creating just kind of like a wing, but almost kind of like a tree branch, if that makes any sense, because this is gonna be where our feathers are. So I'm just kind of like flicking out the wing and creating little like extensions off of the wing, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm describing this <laughs> correctly. But basically I am just taking my time with that and creating like a tree branch feathered like effect.
Next, I'm taking the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner, and this is in the shade Vivid Envy. And it basically, I am just creating little small strokes that kind of give it a feathered like effect. What's perfect about these eyeliners is that the brush is so tiny and so thin that you're able to really get in there for detail and things like that. And when you're creating eye art that's really, really like small and precise, I recommend kind of resting your hand on your cheek. This kind of helps keep your hand stable and steady and it gives you like the best precision. So once again, I am just creating feathered like strokes around the little branch like lines, which is actually like part of the feather. And yeah, I am just kind of like creating little peacock feathers with that. And then once again, I am doing that on the opposite eye. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be adding colors on top and adding dimension to the look. So right now it kind of just looks like a Christmas tree, <laughs> but then I'm going to go into the shade Vivid Sapphire and I'm just creating smaller feather like strokes on top of that. And these strokes are going to be a little bit more spaced out so you can kind of see the green underneath, but you're also adding some dimension to the feathers. And then we're going to also be adding more green on top of that. So it just kind of adds like a layered like effect. And I'm so sorry if this isn't close enough for you guys. This is as close as I could get with my camera. I really wish I had like a macro lens or something like that. But hopefully you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. And then like I said, I am just going back in with that green and just adding more of like sporadic like strokes to make it look more dimensional and to add a lot of depth to the feathers. Next I'm taking this white liquid liner and I am just adding some more sporadic feather like strokes. This is just going to create some highlight to the feathers and it just kind of makes it look a little more realistic as like much as possible. So once again, I am just adding a few strokes around each feather. It doesn't have to be covering the entire feather, but I'm just making it nice and sporadic so it makes it look a little bit more natural. Next I'm taking this yellow shade called Vivid Halo and I am basically creating little teardrop like shapes on each feather like towards the top just like a peacock feather and I'm just being really careful and really precise. This can be like the harder part of the look because it's so small but try not to worry you can always go in later and fix any mistakes if you need to. So like I said I am just going in and just creating little teardrop shapes on each part of the feather. And once again, you can use any color scheme you want. I just kind of wanted to do like a rainbow type theme. <laughs> so then next I'm taking this shade called Vivid Delight. And I would say that this is actually the hardest part because you're going in over that yellow portion of the teardrop shape and you're basically creating a smaller teardrop shape on top of the yellow. And it's kind of difficult, but you just want to go in really carefully. And once again, if you make any mistakes, you can always go back in with your yellow and kind of like go over it as much as you want and just take your time with it and go slowly. I know it looks hard, but it's not too bad if you can get like as close to the mirror as possible. So I am just creating those other little mini teardrop shapes with the orange shade. And I'm sorry, this isn't the best angle. I kind of messed up there. So I'm just going back in with my black liquid liner and I'm creating like a small V at the bottom of the orange portion of the teardrop shape. I hope that makes sense. And once again, I'm so sorry that this isn't like the best shot of my eye. This is as close as I could get, but you're basically just mimicking a peacock feather. So here is a close up of the look. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And so next I'm just going to be applying some mascara and I'm using a waterproof mascara because like if you're going to an outdoor music festival, it's probably going to be really like hot and sweaty. So a waterproof mascara is probably your best bet. So after I do that, I'm just going to be applying some lashes off camera. And next I'm going to be contouring and I'm actually going in really, really lightly with my bronzer because we're going to be placing more of a colorful highlighter on top and it kind of looks weird if you have 
a lot of bronzer going on with like a color highlighter, if that makes sense. So I'm just going in lightly and just kind of shaping and contouring just a little bit and just blending all of that out. And then also contouring my nose as I usually do. Next, I'm going in with this Naked Cosmetics like duochrome highlighter palette, whatever you want to call it. And I mix the blue and the purple color to create like this really pretty iridescent kind of shade. And you can use like any color highlighter you want or if you just want like a normal highlighter or no highlighter at all. I just felt like the purpley blue color just kind of made it more fun. It made it stand out more and it kind of just like went with the whole theme. So I'm just highlighting in my usual places. And then next I'm going in to this blush by Pretty Vulgar. And once again, just kind of going in lightly with that because I don't want it to be too heavy handed. And I just kind of want more of a natural flush to the cheeks. And then I'm gonna be going back in with that highlighter palette and going with that pink shade over my cheeks, kind of like a blush chopper, just to make everything like nice and shiny and pretty and highlighty. <laughs> and then next I'm going in with this liquid lipstick by Wet n Wild. This is their Liquid Katsu and I am using the shade Berry Recognize. You can use like seriously any color with this look, but I just thought the magenta would make it look really pretty and vibrant. And then I placed some of that highlighter over top, which looking back, I probably wouldn't have done that because it kind of looked a little powdery, but in the end it turned out okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully I explained it okay and I made sense. But if you guys recreate this look in any way, be sure to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your recreations. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.